Hey, I'm James, I'm playing Basement. I uh, will run you through the kit I use live. I've got um, a CNC kit, maple wood. Just started working with CNC, they've been awesome. Um, they can hook me up wherever I am. I've got this, my first, my first proper kit. Um, I love it, um, so I'm glad to have it and it's really fun to finally play shows live with it. I chose everything about the, the kit, which was the first time I've ever done anything like that. That was really, really cool. Definitely the finish, which was which was really fun. I remember seeing one a long time ago like this and I just knew I had to get this marine marine pearl vibe. Um, the sizes, I went for 13 inch because I don't know, I grew up playing, I think I started with a 10, which was a tiny, tiny little weirdo drum. And then 12, I guess it's kind of normal. And I just liked, I remember I started playing 13. I just thought, yeah, it's kind of nice. They're not too big, so it gets in the way. Um, sounded, sounded a bit better, I think, for me. Um, just a 16, 16 inch floor tom down here. I remember when we recorded, I, tried, I had two just because and it was no extra to rent it. And I had an 18 as well. It was fun. I didn't use it. Um, and it ended up just being like a bit too big. Just overall, I just went for a 16 inch. For the kick, I just went for 22, which is something I kind of always had. Never went too big. I know people had 24s and I tried that and it ended up, I don't know. I just know I can fit everything how I like it. Um, by 16 inch, not too flat. I see a lot of people playing the, the uh, more shallow ones. I just never done it, so um, I thought I'd just stick with what I always knew. So that's the, the sizes I chose. Okay, the snare I use is 14 inch uh, Maple Shell Pearl Masters series. Um, I had to look it up because I haven't seen it in years. I bought it, it's the only snare I've ever bought about six years ago. I really like it, so I think I'm just going to keep it. Okay, this is it. I can't remember the last time it was cleaned. I remember getting it from Colchester Essex uh, Sound Attack, which was one of the first proper drum shops I ever went to. Yeah, I was a, a lot younger and I remember just trying, standing around, trying three snares uh, and this was the best of the three. So I bought it and just really haven't thought about getting another one. So I'm just gonna stick with that. Uh, yeah, really like it. Okay, so with the heads I chose to use, um, I kind of now just by default get the, for the snare, the control sound coated. Um, I don't know, I just feel it's got this extra like dot in the middle, it lasts longer, even though, you know, start wearing through it, it's probably change it by now. But um, I don't know, I seem to I just stick with that one. Um, with the toms, uh, I either go with a clear emperor or I now just, I changed them a few days ago and went for a pinstripe. I think the difference is, um, I don't know, this one's a bit more dampened or something. I think I like the other ones. <laughs> I think I, I like the look of the other ones. They feel makes the tom feel bigger. I kind of like that, um, so I'll probably go back to those. But I like these two. These are cool. Uh, I play Sabian cymbals, um, and the ones I've got now are the hi hats, um, 15 inch groove hats. Uh, they're really cool. The these are the same but different sizes. I've got HH um, thin crashes, 19 inch and 20 inch, and for the ride I've got the HH vintage ride, 21 inch. With, uh, with the crashes, um, they were pretty much soon as, um, as soon as I tried them out, I thought they sounded really cool and I'd stick with them. The ride took me, I tried like three different ones. I started with a, like this really heavy legacy um, Sabian ride, which looked cool, so I kind of wanted to stick with that. But um, as, soon as, as soon as we put this one down, I started trying it. I realised it was, it was more for me. It sounded, I liked the bell, sounded really cool. Um, and I could crash on it a lot, um, so I didn't need to just use it as a ride, which I often kind of like use all three like that. Um, so that was really cool, so I stuck with that one. Got me mum's rug. Got me mum's rug in there. Where? In here, deep down. Just to clog it up, you really want to choke all sound out of it if you can. This rug's good. I had this, I can't remember, someone had it on the last tour, I borrowed it. And um, I love this little wedge. Never comes forward. Every time I try and not use it, I swear I end up over there. So I, I like to keep that all times now, it's good. Okay, it sticks I use and have used for quite a while now, I finally found the ones I liked. Uh, Vata 5B, um, I remember I used to play, I just, over the years, just got heavier and heavier, but never, never crazy. But, um, but these are nice and kind of, kind of thicker, um, nice and heavy, so I can, don't have to do too much. Nothing, if they're too light, I feel like I, don't know, end up hurting myself, I have to put too much work in, but these are cool. I can like do a little less and um, I feel like they work for me, so that's pretty cool. Shout out to Vata, because they're the, uh, the first company that ever helped me out with anything drum related, so um, they're really cool. Happy to stick with them. They're really, really cool guys, and I love the sticks. I'll show you this little tool. This weird, weirdo little thing, weird little drum key. 
I use it because I don't know how to tune. <laughs> it does it for you. Um, it's a torque key. You set the torque and it kind of knows what it's doing. You know, kind of like evens it out without you having to think about it. I'm a cheater. All the hardware I use, I think is all um, DW5000 stands hardware. Um, I just thought, I've just used, I've always known DW to be the best hardware. Just once you buy it, it's just there forever. So I just thought I'd <coughs> splash out, get it once, and then I'm done. Um, the hi-hat stand is a, is a DW5000, um, and the pedal I've got at the minute is my original DW5000, but I did recently upgrade to a 9000, but I think I left that in America, which I haven't lost. I'll use that, I'll use that another time. Um, this is the, uh, the right half of a double, double bass pedal. I, yes, I used to use, use both. I was interested in a bit of that. But um, just, I just keep it with one now. That's probably wise, I think. Okay, so when I was growing up, drummers I would have liked listening to. One, one drummer, I'm not gonna go into crazy depth because I really don't know much drum history, but I used to listen to Led Zeppelin a lot. So, um, um, I know it's John Bonham, I don't know why I stopped like I didn't know. <laughs> that guy, that drummer, that fan, no, so John Bonham. I, I didn't, that's why I almost didn't want to say his name because it was like, yeah, I love John Bonham. I don't, he's all right, he's good. <laughs> no, they're all good. I don't pick up on the exact drummers. I like listen to bands and think, I don't think, who's that guy? I just think, sweet drums. So yeah, thanks for checking it out. This is my stuff, Sabian, Vader, CNC baby. Come see us live, I'll be playing it.